Thanks for taking some time to watch this video. Before we start the demo, we'd like to introduce some of the personas you will see. First is Nick Wheeler. He's a sales director at Innovate. He manages new opportunities for global trade, Innovate's biggest account. Next is Li Gu. He's a sales associate at Innovate. He works with Nick and processes all documents related to a contract. Next is Adele Vance. She's a purchasing manager at Global Trade. She verifies and signs all contracts with Innovate, who is their major supplier of pumps. Let's start off with Nick, who has a new opportunity. Nick will log into Salesforce to look at all kinds of information for this account, including the workspace that's already been created for it, the customer information, and the account team. He will also proceed to create a new opportunity for, the, uh, for this account, and it's for the pump upgrade. And from Salesforce, he'll put in some uh, closed data information and, and, a, and additional metadata that, be, that will be synchronized with the workspace that will be created. Let's see here the workspace, um, the opportunity has been created, and the workspace has also been created from a template. And you can see the uh, template structure when he navigates into the Documents tab of the workspace. Once the workspace has been created for this opportunity, Nick can work in this workspace directly from the Teams interface. For example, he's going to add some technical documents that he has in his um, uh, <coughs> Office 365 OneDrive. So he'll proceed to add them to the documents, to this folder in the workspace. And he can also preview the CAD drawing of the pump that was provided earlier by the customer. You can see here that he's using the, the Brava viewer. And um, he can do all kinds of functionality uh, from Brava directly from the Teams integration and workspaces. Nick is ready to draft the contract to send to Global Trade. He will create the contract from a template that's available to him, specifically for these customers. And it's important to note that the content of the contract in the documents for such things as the name and the date will be automatically synchronized from the Salesforce integration. Notice here that the customer name has already been synchronized and all kinds of dates. The contract will immediately be opened by Word Online. Nick will collaborate with Lee, his sales associate, on the contract together at the same time, and they will be able to co-author it and change certain values before sending the contract over. Rather than use email to exchange and collaborate on the contract, Nick will share the entire contract folder to CoreShare. The contents of the contract folder will be completely synchronized between the business workspace and CoreShare. Lee can also use Core Signature from the CoreShare interface to get the contract signed by Adele from Global Trade. Using the core share interface, Ligu will prepare the document to be signed by Adele using core signature. He will choose that it has to be signed by Adele, who is already in his contacts list, and he will proceed to prepare the area of the document that needs to be signed. Once a document pops up, he will navigate to the customer signature part of the um, <coughs> document and he will insert a mandatory signature by Adele. Adele Vance, who works for Global Trade, now receives an email notifying her of her requirement to review the document or the contract and to sign it. She will navigate to the signature part she will have her choices of style to enter her name to sign. She'll prepare and sign the document over, and it will be sent back 
to Lee and Nick at Innovate. Nick navigates into the contract folder he had previously shared, and he observes that the signed contract has already been synchronized to the workspace. He opens it up and navigates to the customer signature part to ensure that Adele has indeed signed the contract. Nick remembers that there are attachments in his emails that need to be saved to the workspace. He logs on to office.com, expands the side panel for workspaces, and is able to, to find quickly the last workspace he's worked on, and then he can file attachments directly from office.com. It is time to close the opportunity, and Nick will now retire the contents of this team to the business workspace. When he retires this team, all the contents that are stored in the team will be archived in the workspace. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch it.